guys, it's Ruby, and we have just checked into our room here at Red Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. Let me give you all a tour. So when we first walked into the room, my first impression was that it was so spacious. Online it said they're 515 square feet. Feels huge, feels way bigger than that. The color palette is kind of these dark muted tones. This definitely feels high end right when you walk into the room. across from the bed you have your huge TV also a really large desk if you need to get some work done underneath that is the mini bar they don't have a personal fridge in here but it does say you can call down and request one from housekeeping so that's really good to know we have an insane view this has got to be the best view of the mountains in las vegas seriously honestly breathtaking we also have such an amazing view of the pool it has me really pumped to go down there and check it out the bathroom is really wowing me marble as far as the eye can see a gorgeous soaking tub separate shower the vanity area looks Gorgeous, excited to try out the new products. Big thumbs up. I love coming to a new property that we have never stayed at before. So much new to explore, and we are gonna go and start by checking out that pool. Let me show you. I've heard nothing but good things about this pool area, and after seeing it out the window, I am so pumped. Wow, Red Rocks pool does not disappoint. Now, it's actually a really big pool area, several smaller pools, two hot tubs, but we're here at the very end of pool season, so just this huge main pool is open. I like the temperature of the water. The chairs are super plush and comfortable. We had some really great pool food. I had a tuna poke bowl. Mr. Ruby had a huge turkey club. I have to say, this could be a new favorite. I could spend all afternoon here. are coming to Vegas for a pool vacation the palm trees and the fountain down there oh, loved the pool I am ready for us to go downstairs and explore some of the casino and the rest of the property so Red Rock is a station casino meaning you're gonna use your station rewards cards if you're gonna play here the table minimums here are about 15 bucks on a weekday they have three to two blackjack. They also have a really wide variety of slots because there's not a lot of casinos nearby. So they have everything you could need to play right in here. If you're staying here at Red Rock, it truly is an all-inclusive property. The sports book is really large and nice to do your sports betting. They have a nice poker room. They have bingo hall. They have a movie theater with IMAX. They even have a kids corner area and they have a bowling alley. You know we love bowling. We will be there later today. I cannot stress how big this property is. You really do not have to leave. We have to talk about the location of Red Rock. We are in Summerlin. This is about 20 minutes away from Center Strip. So if you're planning to be on the Strip a lot, Ubering there and back is gonna take a while. 
This is a really pretty area of Las Vegas and a totally different scene if you're wanting something new to explore. Red Rock truly has an impressive amount of dining. There are restaurants in every category, barbecue, Chinese, Japanese, American. There's a food court with tons of cheap eats options. Honestly, you could stay here a week and probably not eat everywhere. And they're building more restaurants, which is crazy. But we have to try the steakhouse. So we are heading to T-Bones, very excited. just got seated at T-Bones. As soon as we sat down, they came over with a tray of all these amazing breads to try. So really excited about that. And we are gonna take a look at the menu. It's a steakhouse. We're probably getting a steak. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, so we started out with the crab cakes because they were highly recommended. They did not disappoint. The sauce with the lemon juice on them, so good. I got the petite filet. Mr. Ruby decided to try the Australian Wagyu New York Strip. It's huge. For sides, we got some spicy creamed corn and the truffle gnocchi that everyone is raving about. Let's have a bite of my steak. I got medium rare. Wet aged for 28 days. Completely tender, like, I mean, barely have to chew it. It's just kind of like melting in my mouth. Delicious. We need to try these sides. I have to try this potato gnocchi because about three different servers have said this is like the best thing they've ever eaten. It's the best thing I've ever eaten too. Oh my God. So our total before tip for all of our food was $243. It was delicious. We really enjoyed it. I will definitely come and eat here again. Now, it is time to do a little after dinner drink, and I know just the place. Sugar Back behind T-Bones is the cutest patio bar. So you don't have to have a reservation at the restaurant to come back here. You can even order food. They have a full bar awesome like fire pit lounge area you can see the pool and it's lit up it looks amazing we are just going to enjoy a drink here i'm having a little scotch and afterward we have some bowling to do Red Rock Lanes, probably the coolest bowling alley I've ever seen. It's also very unique. They have Spark It Up Bowling. What this is is essentially the lane interacts with you while you play. There's different games like Angry Birds, or you can hit targets on the lane while you bowl. We're actually here for a media night, so they do have the VIP suites rented out for us. And that's a cool thing you could do with a huge group. But you can do the Spark It Up on individual lanes. Just something fun and different if you're here at Red Rock Lanes. What a fun way to end our night. That virtual bowling was just like a cool twist on something we already love doing. So, had a blast. We're heading to bed. See you guys all in the morning. Good morning, everybody. I found a robe in the closet last night. Uh, we slept with the curtains open and I rolled over when the sun was coming up and it was like one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. It was gorgeous. If you are someone that wants to relax in your room on your vacation, you would be super comfortable in here. The water pressure was amazing in the shower. The bedding, like the sheets, were buttery soft. It was like sleeping on a cloud. Definitely one of my favorite beds of recent stays. We were here on a Monday night and all together, taxes, resort fees, everything, the cost of the room was $264. And that's gonna be like their more low price point. 
I looked at their rate calendar and the prices were kind of all over the place. So this is high end price category. And I think that's because this really is an all-inclusive property. They have a Forbes four-star spa that I went and toured and it was really nice. They've got all this great dining, the pool, a new favorite for me. I feel if this is your first time in Vegas, you're probably not gonna wanna stay this far from the strip. But I know a lot of you guys are frequent Vegas visitors. You've done a lot of the properties. If you have not given Red Rock a chance, I would come try it out. We really enjoyed the stay and I definitely plan to be back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed staying here. I'll catch you guys all in the next one.